Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we finally got that blimp ticket. And in this episode, we're going to probably one of my favorite levels in the entire game. Can you tell how hyped I am? Because seriously, I'm super hyped! Actually, now that I realize, now that I actually look at it, uh, my two favorite levels in this game are actually kind of in the same hub area of Rogueport. That's pretty cool. Let's talk to the cheap, cheap guy. This blimp goes to Blitzville. Will you be joining us on our flat today? Yeah, sure. Ah, please allow me to check your board pests. Here you go, fish man. Then please, watch your step as you step ahead. Sounds like a plan. Alright. Now, before we do anything, behind this pipe is a star piece, ladies and gentlemen. So, make sure you don't forget that on your way to Glitzville. Because, man, we are going to have a time. Now, I actually really like how it's kind of like in the background, so they didn't really have to use too many assets. Good idea. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know I love this scene. I like how it's like a blimp coming at you. You see Mario in like a little glass. Like, I guess not, not. It's not really all spot, but you can just kind of see him inside of the blimp. And this, there you go. This is the start of Chapter Three. Yep, that's right. We're doing basically one of my two top, I'll say top three favorite levels, because there's what, like eight? I don't know, I can't remember. Of Glitz and Glory. Well then, let's not waste any time, because I am seriously way too excited. And as you can see, the little floating island on jets. That's so badass. Okay, maybe I'm a little bit too hyped. But it, this is actually honestly my favorite level in the game. Except for maybe one. Oof, it's gonna be really hard to differentiate which one I like more. I'll, when, when we get to that one, I guess I'll talk. I'll, I'll talk a lot about how much I like that one. But well, we'll see. All right. So basically, Glitzville's a big old. Uh, it's kind of an arena, if I had to put it in, in, in a sense. It's it's more creative than it is ambitious. Does that make sense? I don't know. I like the way it is. Okay. Let's just. I'm not gonna. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna gush. I'm gonna gush. Okay. I'm gonna gush. You'll see. Oh, hey, it's those bomb guys. I'm pretty sure I've seen them before. I don't like. No, maybe I'm crazy. But well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Glitzville. Um, yeah, this would be Glitzville, all right. How do you? How do they make it float? Rocket propelled awesomeness. I mean, it, it hasn't ever, you know. Plunge from the sky or anything, has it? I'm amazed that wasn't an actual, like, a plot point or anything. I mean, like, yeah, I feel like it should have been. That would have been a great, just like a, a, a dramatic set piece. And of, of course they're going to show us that right off the bat. That there is actually a shine sprite right in the background. Time to hunt down that crystal star, huh, Mario? I know I'm ready. Yeah, you better be. This is pretty awesome. Alright, so. For, again, like I said, first things first. We're going to want to hit the... Oh, wait. Oh, wait, we can't do that. We can't do that. No, we can't. Okay, so, of course we can't do that, but I think we can hunt around a little bit now that we have these super boots. We should probably just start hunting around for star pieces. Maybe I shouldn't have been so hyped and actually, you know, paid attention. But I know that right behind here is actually another star piece. So, again, welcome to the star piece of Palooza. There's going to be quite a few throughout the entirety of this level, but you're also probably going to see me stomping a lot because I'm not going to be able to remember every single one. Yeah, right there. Oh, Koops, come on. Let us get this star piece. I just want to get a couple out of the way before we actually start this episode. Well, start this chapter, I should say. So here's another star piece. And I do believe there is one more thing that we can't do yet anyway. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can! I actually didn't think I could do this just yet, but I guess I can, so that's pretty useful. So, you can use the super boots to uh, basically hit those big switches that we've been seeing a little bit. But, it's kind of just implied right now, we actually don't have the means to do it in every scenario. But doing that will give you a Power Plus Partner Badge. So, it is pretty useful to do it. And right behind here... Wait a minute, can I not... Oh, this is a come back later thing, isn't it? There is actually, as you can see, a star piece right underneath there. And I thought I could get it, but I guess I can't. At least not just yet. But let's just see where this takes us. Why not? And you can actually probably see a couple star pieces while we're doing this. 
Oh, I actually messed up. So you're supposed to be able to get to the top of that hot dog stand, but it's not that big of a shoot right now. So we have a secret over here that I may have not known about. Look at me. I'm a hot dog. All right. So, like I was saying before, right behind here is one more star piece to add to our huge collection. How many do we have now? Holy crap. Um, 37? That's not bad. We've been doing pretty good. I have been forgetting a few, and I know we're going to have to come back later once we get more abilities, but I just know that there are actually a couple more that I can get before I even start this episode. I do believe there's one behind this bar. Yeah, my memory ain't as bad as I thought it was. Now let's... Who's this dame over here? That fabulous mustache. I've seen it somewhere before, I know it. Yes, Mario, that is definitely the name I've heard somewhere before. Oh, I am pretty famous, though. I guess not as famous in this region as I am anywhere else. Hey there, welcome. Our doors are always open for the thirsty fight fans. So grab a frosty juice, take a load off, and enjoy. I sure as heck will, Bean Man. I sure as heck will. Alright, so let's keep it going. Now that I'm slowly, slowly remembering everything, there's also an ink coupon back here, I think. Yes, there is. So, I guess we might as well just make our own little trip inside the, like, Glitz Dome? I can't actually remember what this is called. It's probably the Glitz Dome. Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't do stories on newbies, sorry. Move it or lose it. Ah. Media. Welcome to the Glitz Pit. Here, savage battles go on each and every day. That's pretty cool, Toad Man. Oh, it's you. Well, hello there, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. Yes, we do. I know there's a secret somewhere in here. I can smell it. Well, hello there, you big burly hunk of a man. You, you're smashing, dear. Smashing. But I'm afraid I'm only interested in the champion rock hog. Toodaloo. Oh, miss. You won't be interested in that guy for very long. Oh, come on, there's gotta be a secret around here somewhere. They they would have to hide it somewhere around here. I mean, look at all this open space. Yeah, I knew it. By the way, I'm not just like saying this sort of thing. I actually, I do have a list, but I, I don't know where everything is. So I'm just kind of going off of what I can remember. Or what I'm assuming as a as, as a gamer. So here's another star piece. I think we let that one hang a little bit too long anyway. Um, hey, Mr. Mustache guy, where's Prince Mush? Prince Mush? Huh? Hmm. Don't actually know. All right, so let's keep moving up here. Hey, cameraman. Hey, how you doing, bud? I'm a freelance cameraman. I'm always after a scoop. Are ya? Well. We might as well, you know, attend a little show. We're in the Glitz Pit, how could we not, right? Oh man, I really hope my microphone is picking up well. I really love this new thing. I got a, I got a brand new microphone, finally have it set up. I finally got the cord, finally didn't forget anything. Wow, this place is so cool! Hey Mario, look up there! There's a battle match going on right now! Hey, look at that, we were actually on screen for a second. That's right! Mm, I think it's about time for you to feel the raw. Oh. Stay down, pincushion. You don't ever. You don't want more of this. Why'd you even show up? Oh yeah, you hear me talking, wimpy. Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do about a million push-ups and then come and see Uncle Rock. Huh? I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to mama again. Hooey, champ. That was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can, hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can even make like, me sweat. They're all a bunch of little crybabies running around in stinky diapers. You got a bone to pick? Come find me. Bring it! I'll take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting. Okay? Cause I'll hurt ya. Yeah! Number one, baby! Rockhawk is the champ! Ah! <laughs> Man, we got a regular Mr. Satan over here. If you don't know who that is, 
Well, I feel really bad for you, son. Um, you see that, Mario? <laughs> that thing on the shiny belt. Is that a crystal star? I, it, I think it is, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. That sparkle is a crystal star. Um, but doesn't that make, make much sense at all? Why would it be on the guy's belt? Yeah, it's, it's kind of suspicious if you ask me. It doesn't seem very plausible. Boy, I don't know, Mario. It's not like we can just steal that guy's belt. Or can we? What should our move here be? <laughs> Isn't it obvious, Coops? We're gonna battle our way to the top! That's the ticket, Mario! Do the let <laughs> do this thing right. All you have to do is become champion and get that belt fair and square. I mean we could steal it, but you know I've had enough Grand Theft Auto for one lifetime. So I guess we better get started. There must be a novice sign up somewhere. My tummy's getting upset. Let's find a guy in charge before I lose my nerve. Oh come on, Coop's still losing your nerve after being along the ride with a hero like me? I'm sure we just gotta talk to somebody around here. Maybe we actually have to go to the um Talk to the bouncer down over here. I kinda wanna give him an Arnold voice. It's that Bob? You want to become a fighter? No, I can't do it. I'm terrible as Ar I can't go doing impressions. <laughs> well, if you're serious, you better go meet Mr. Gru uh, Mr. Grubba, the promoter. Where the Grubba's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. Thank you, big man. With no arms, oddly. Oh, who am I kidding? A lot of things in the Mario universe don't have arms. I just kind of assume that it's, like, crossed behind his back, kinda? And we just can't see it from the angle we're at. So if they were, like, to turn around at any point, uh, we would basically just start to see it. Hmm. Wait, where did he say he said down the hall? Does that mean all the way down the hall? I don't actually remember. I'm going off solely on memory on this one. I, oh, man. I remember a whole bunch of secrets, but I, I'm probably gonna miss a lot, so... I guess we'll see. Maybe... Is this one it? I think this is it. This is a major league locker room, bub. Sorry, you can't go in there. Ah, oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm just kind of lost. It's in here. Oh, sweet. I did remember something. There's a last stand badge in there. Sweet, more cash. Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough. This is the minor leagues locker room. Sorry, bub. Can't enter here either. Oh, well. Maybe I can go into this inconspicuous door with stars on it. Or maybe that could have been the exit. Maybe they could have just just me going in a big old circle, circle Rooney there, because clearly I'm the dumb. I am so dumb. I am sorry. <laughs> oh well, let's keep going. Oh, or maybe it's just this one. Maybe I'm just dumb. No, because we we checked the minor leagues, didn't we? And then this is the stage. I know that. And then this is the uh, this is the major leagues. So is this the room? What's that? You want to be a fighter, bub? All right, go on in. Mr. Rubba's just inside. <laughs> Seems fair. Yeah, 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 I got you, got you. It's okay. You don't have to say it again. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood. Who oh, in tarnation are you, son? And who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yep, that's me, Grubba. And you hear one rude dude coming in without knocking. Yo, you kind of want to be an athlete. What now? An athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? Yeah, um, I do it for a living, so I might as well do it for some fame and fortune, and not for the belts. Hooey! That new chain thing or two, son. I always do. I always got time for an up-and-comer. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters, all primed and raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now... Let me strip, son. You want to live the glamorous life of a champion, don't you? Um... You know what? You're darn skippy, I do. All right, all right, son. I hear where you're coming from. It's loud and clear. Um... When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pocket's patoot for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. And no one, you know what I realized? Being rich and famous is dig dang dynamite. Now I can't fix it up with a ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You read me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they're, they ain't yours, exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. 
And when you make it big, you'll look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You read me here, son? Follow you're giving me some sort of generic speech about following my dreams? That's the spirit, chief. Here, let's have a little walk and talk. Come on now. Um, sure. Where are we walking to exactly? Hmm. I guess this is kind of more of a set the stage kind of scene. <laughs> now, how do you like this part? Just feast your eyes on. <laughs> Go on in. This is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe. It becomes, you'll become champ, son, and you'll get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. Well, that's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yep, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself and a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Oh, man. I would sure as heck love that. Now, uh, here we have the Major League Rocker Room. A lot of contenders here. What do you think, son, huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters. Darn it. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't no one in the world. <laughs> there ain't but one world champion. Clawing your way to the top uh, and taking the belt to become the champ ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if it weren't no challenge. I can see you're, you got the fire for it, too, pard. You got the eye of the tiger there. That's a little bit of a cliche, but I love it. You're gonna be champ. I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. I could just say that to all the young up and comers. But don't worry, you're probably right on this one. Oh, hey, one more thing. You gotta sign a bit of bit of contract to be a fighter. Ain't no thing, just take a second to your time, just jot your name down here. Um, sure, why not? Sign me up. You signed the contract. Best thing you ever done, son. Now, you're Mario. Ain't that a bit of hand? Ain't that a bad handle? Still, I gotta say, part, it lacks a little punch as a fighter's name, get me? Let's see here. Bam! Hooey! I got it! From now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzalez! Hoo! Oh. Ain't that a beaut! I, I don't know, it seems kind of a stereotypical... Kind of offensive... Darn! If that ain't a struggle genius, a name that good comes around once in a lifetime! Yup, everyone will soon bow before the Great Gonzalez! Make me proud, son! Uh... uh sure. Well, now that we got that business side out of the way... Jolene, could you come in a minute, darling? Who's this, Toad? Yes, sir, you wish to see me. Sure did, hon. Jolene, this is the great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him down to the minor league locker room, all right? Right away, sir. <laughs> Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. Strict and serious, I see. I don't think I've ever been so hyped for this. As you know, you are you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubber says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubber releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. Oh, this does not look like a like a oh, sanitary place. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. Very different from what he showed us. <laughs> You're starting in the minor leagues, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this uh, dingy room, I suggest you work your way through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubber will decide who you will match up against. You'll have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk over the screen and log in with A. You pick Preserve a Match. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Welcome to the automated match reservation system. What is your command? Well, I kind of want to reserve a match. Why not? <laughs> well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your first dirt. <laughs> your fist dirty, huh? 
There you go, son. More like my boots, dude. I got a treat for you. Your first battle is gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. That'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Wow, you got no confidence in them, huh? Hey, we want to get everybody fired up through a... S <laughs> fired up, though. So appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about the detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, pard. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you cannot get your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot of the major leagues. That's about all you'll need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Well, yeah, that's pretty basic. It's just kind of a win, win and fin fulfill the condition and we win. What was it? Okay, so we just need to appeal this time around, right? Well, I guess it's going to be easy. I really hope that... I don't know, we'll see. Let's do this. So we just basically have to wait for security, huh? Can we take a rest in the bed? Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Ooh, no confidence in me, eh, Joby? Now let's just take a look at our health. Well, I guess our partner will just take the brunt of the, the damage. It'll be fine. It's fine. It's fine. Did I just bump the uh, the table? I probably just bumped the table. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to have to get a, a little drink of my iced tea anyway. My throat is killing me after doing bubble, uh, Grubba's voice. Off next, folks, is their hopping hardheads, the Goomba Bros. And a newcomer with a handgun for hammer in El Grey Gonzalez. <laughs> the Goomba Bros have been waiting to get to get all heck head up for the fight. Let's shake it. How do Goomba Bros? How are y'all feeling today? You ready for this fight? Ha! You kidding me? We're always ready to bunk a fool or two. Who's this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's who. Waiting <laughs> just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now. Just to save time for later. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, but I like to make an entrance. I'm digging a dang, fighting fans! That's a great Gonzalez now, striding on up. I'll tell you, this rook has got some guts strolling in the leg like he owns the place. Whoo! Okay now, Gonzalez, that's enough. Let me explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bonk! Oh, hey, whoa! That's not even... That's fighting. <laughs> that's fighting dirty. Hey, that's no fair. You can't attack before the bell rings. That's cheating. Come on, Mario. We can't let a bunch of cheaters beat us. Let's take them down. Aw, oh, quit crying, will ya? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? <coughs> oh man, my throat is killing me now, but who cares? So, our first condition we should probably meet would be to appeal to the crowd, which I've never actually shown off. But basically what appealing does, make it makes us fill that star gauge uh, a little bit faster. Now, I just want to wreck these guys really fast with absolutely no effort, so let's just... Aw, oh, I thought I could get it, but I guess not. Fine, it's fine. Let's keep it moving, I guess. Uh, the great Gonzalez wins! Tell me, son, what was the first season of Victory like? That fight? What a joke. Really, we killed him in one attack. Can I say what a joke? I'll tell you what I, what I just saw, folks. Oh, whoopin! This kid's got skills! I got ourselves a new hero! Let's hear it for him, folks! Yeah, the great Gonzalez! <laughs> look, look at Koops being all bashful. Though, to be fair, I guess we did really just wreck him. We, uh, we smashed him, Steve. Well, Gonzalez, that fight was a total... wasn't a total loss. But listen, son, fighters gotta play to the crowd, you know? Pump them up more. I'm hoping you'll give me more razzle-dazzle next time, huh? We understand each other? Good, I'll be on my way then. Miss Jolene here, give you your... Here, we'll give you a fight money. You see ya. 
I'm really playing it up a little, aren't I? Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Expect to be seeing this happen a lot. Also, three coins? Not bad. Mario's ranking rose to 19. So we were at 20 and now we're at 19. We're gonna fight our way all the way to the top. The next fight will be will be set until the select reserve a match in the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until the next fight. Alright. Well, I guess I'll be getting a little bit of rest between this and the next fight. Have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez, because we actually I think we should end this episode off here. Yo, Rook! How was your first fight, dog? Well, actually, maybe we'll wait a little bit, though. A little bit of time. I'm King K, man. Just a Bush League scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look a little... Uh, you look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This man here is Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bomb. Well, now we've gotten to know each other. I will give you advice, Bomb. As Miss Jolie was saying, you better bomb. Obey Mr. Grubba's conditions. If you clear the conditions and win, you get to fight higher ranked foes. Bomb! If you, you can't clear them, you're bomb. End up battling a lower ranked fighter. Bomb! You can't climb to the bomb. Ranking <laughs> fighting at the bottom of the barrel. Bomb, bomb. Yeah. Yeah, my man. <laughs> yeah, my man's got, you know, some speech issues, but he's a good sir. He's a good Got some good advice sometimes. I guess this guy's seen some stuff. Not just sometimes, Bomb. Advice is always useful, Bomb Bomb. Right, man. Whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Brandy Andy. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm not here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh, yeah. If you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like a cushy bed in the champ's room, though. It does seem to refill your star power. So it's kind of like an inn, but it doesn't refill our star power. That's fine. That's fine to know. As long as we appeal to the crowd, we should be able to get it back anyway. Okay, cool. And this last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Kleftor. Crack, Kleftor no like make friends with mustache. Easy there, Cleft dog. Dude ain't the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. Ah, don't worry. I've met plenty of Clefts in my day. Anyway... That's the core minor league crew, man. You need something to ask us. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. You and me gotta eventually square off, so, uh, good luck, man. You know what? I like sportsmanship. But, I think that's all we got time for today. So, um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.